get ready for a full week of frozen themed lunches just in time to gear up for the premiere of Frozen 2. We've got a lot of new friends with us, so I just wanted to introduce myself. My name's Aneka, and on Sundays, I'll bring you a full week of lunchbox ideas. On Tuesdays, I'll show you how to make those tasty treats for your lunchbox or themed party. And then on Friday, it's craft, eat, repeat, where I'll do a super simple craft and maybe a few treats to go along with it. So welcome to my channel, Pack, Eat, Repeat. I'm Aneka and welcome to my channel, Pack, Eat, Repeat. I'm here with another full week of lunchbox ideas for you and I am so excited because Frozen 2 is coming out. Now, my girls are psyched for this. Going to the movies is just as good for them as going to Disney. They absolutely love it and I'm loving that they're excited by cheaper things than going to actual Disney. So this week I made a full week of lunches with a frozen theme and I just had way too much fun doing it. But I did have a total moment of mom brain or can it be like pregnancy brain? Can you have pregnancy brain when your youngest child is like almost two years old? I don't know, but it caught me off guard on the Friday lunch. So I hope you stick around to see what I came up with for a quick, easy idea for our frozen themed lunch. So thank you so much for visiting my channel. Be sure to like this video, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you'll be nice and ready when I come out with my next full week of themed lunches. All right, guys, let's get packing. So Sunday night, I made Swedish meatballs for dinner and that's what's gonna be for lunch for Monday. Now, this was really fun because I got to talk to the girls about where the movie is set. So Frozen is set in Norway, but we just talked in general about that area of the world and how this is a, a dish that people might eat there and what dishes we might eat here in this country. So that was really fun. Now I'm gonna give her some veggies and some pretzels, and I told her that these were reindeer snacks for Sven, and she thought that was really funny. Next, I'm going to give her a frozen-themed fruit snack with Elsa and Anna on it. And I'm just gonna open it up for her because sometimes she gets a little flustered if she can't get it open right away. I found this good-to-grow bottle with Elsa on it. And for snack, we're gonna have some dried fruit, a granola bar, and some yogurt. Okay, let's see how she did. I knew she was gonna get, drink the juice because they don't get juice very often. Looks like she ate the dried cherries and left the apricots, and she left some of her veggies and pretzels but ate all the meatballs. I'm happy with that. And of course she ate her fruit snacks. Those probably went first. <laughs> okay, time to get ready for Tuesday lunch. Now today I made a really cute treat for her, but we'll start out with the lunch. So for lunch, I just made a turkey sandwich, but I cut it into the shape of a snowflake. I just used a cookie cutter and cut it right out. Now I got these sweet potato chips and to be honest, I can't even remember where I got them, but I thought they were so good. We'll see if Acacia likes them. I'm gonna give her some cucumbers for her veggie and a sliced up apple for her fruit. And I found an Olaf juice to go along with it. And I made this cute little Olaf cookie. This little guy was so fun to make. Make sure that you turn on your notifications so you'll know exactly when I drop the DIY on how to make him. For snack, we're going to have a granola bar and pretzels. Okay, so it looks like she ate all of her snack and of course she ate all of the little Olaf cookie. And she ate everything for her lunch except for the chips. Time to make lunch for Wednesday. So today I found these 
little boxes of mac and cheese that are shaped in frozen themed shapes. So it's a Christmas tree, a bell, and a snowflake. So I just whipped that up and I'm gonna put it in her lunchbox and I'll just heat it up in the morning. So I'm gonna get it ready, but I'm going to add some cut up ham to this and some frozen peas. My girls like to call this dish mac and cheese, ham and peas. And I was just so amazed at how well they ate their peas after I started putting it in the macaroni. It tastes really good. So if you've got a picky eater who maybe is okay with seeing the green but won't eat the peas on their own, go ahead and try to put it in the mac and cheese. And I honestly like it better this way as well. Next, I'm going to give her some water and I just put it in this Elsa bottle. I'm gonna give her some carrots, a little bit of hummus to dip it in, and some little cherry tomatoes. Now, she doesn't like tomatoes, but I'm gonna keep trying and I got her some different colors to see how she liked it. And for her treat, I made her these adorable ombre Rice Krispie treats. They were super simple to make and you can see how I did them in the DIY. For snack, I have some cereal, some fruit snacks, and some applesauce. So today was actually a half day for Acacia, so she ate all of her mac and cheese, but it just got put in a bowl and heated in the microwave. She didn't eat her tomatoes, which I am not surprised about, but overall she did pretty good. Time to get ready for Thursday. Today I want Acacia to try something a little bit different. I keep trying to kind of switch up her lunchbox and see if I can get some new foods in there. So I'm gonna give her some cucumbers, which she loves, some dried cherries, which she also loves, and I'm gonna try to get her to eat some kiwi, which she's not crazy about. I found this almond, ginger, and cashew granola at Trader Joe's. It is delicious, go and find some. And then we have melted Olaf. This is just vanilla yogurt, so she can take the granola and even the dried cherries and mix it all up in there if she wants to. For snack, we have a granola bar and some pirate's booty. Now, to make this go along with the theme, I just used some Sharpies and I drew Olaf's face on the container. So when I put the pirate's booty in there, it'll kind of look like a snowman. You could also do this if you wanted to put some popcorn in a cup and if you were doing this for a party, it would be really easy just to get some clear disposable cups, draw a face on there, and put them out for your guests. And some water in a not melted Olaf. All right, so today was bagel day at school, and she told me she didn't like her bagel because there was salt all over it, and it's hard as a rock, so no wonder she didn't eat it but she liked the rest of her snacks. And it looks like she ate a lot of the granola and she left. <laughs> okay, so my guess is that the kiwi touched everything in there and so she refused to eat it. But she did eat her yogurt, so that's okay. Tomorrow there's no school, so I only have four lunches for you this week. So, funny story. While we were out trick-or-treating in the neighborhood, one of the neighborhood moms said, all right, I'll see you tomorrow at the bus stop. And I was like, wait, what? So it turns out the middle and high school kids in our district are out of school, but the elementary school kids are still in session. So I had to think on the fly and whip up a frozen themed lunch for Acacia. And it was pretty difficult, but I think I came up with some super, super, super quick, easy things. If you wanted to have a party at your home, you could do that. So for today's lunch, I just basically used leftovers from dinner um, because I didn't have anything planned. So I made Acacia a veggie sandwich and I even put some cheese in it. Now you guys know that she's not a super big fan of cheese, but We'll see if she eats it. I cut out a little snowflake on the front to go along with the theme. Now with the veggie sandwich, she's gonna have some of Olaf's noses and some of Sven's antlers. And when all else fails, just buy something with the characters' faces already on them. So she's gonna get 
some frozen fruit snacks, an apple, and some more pirate's booty. Now, I forgot to record what she ate, but you guys, Acacia ate her sandwich with the cheese. If you have been following me, then you know this is a major win, and I am super psyched, and that's it. That's a full week of frozen themed lunchbox ideas. Now, make sure your notifications are on so that you'll be ready when I put out the DIY on how to make these fun treats. And be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Let, let it go, let it go. Baby Santa, baby Santa, and be a little bit